हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एम टी टूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर अप हाउ टू एंड रोल मल्टीपल डिवाइस इन टू ए डिफेंडर एम और हाउ यू कैन ऑन बोर्ड द मल्टीपल डिवाइस द सेम टाइम इन टू ए एम डी कंसोल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट सो लेट्स लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो वट इज द कॉन्टेंट फॉर दिस वीडियो uh first thing we need a uh, group device group either it can be a static or the dynamic as you want so initially for the testing you can create a static group just uh, add few of the devices for testing there once it done then you can put it uh, like a, a dynamic query as well and then we'll be creating a configuration profile that will help us to onboard a device into a defender and then finally we'll test whether this defender is activated or not so let's get started with the practical lab now let me go to the intune console mem console so here is my group let me show you the group name so this group already i have created a uh, defender bulk onboarding let me go and let's see how many devices are here so here i have the total number one so one machine i have added for the testing let's see the device name so this is the device name uh csc1 this device i'm going to uh, test it to handle this device so now uh this is the device name uh, uh csc1 and this is my the test device now let's validate whether this device is already part of uh, defender or not or this is already onboarded or not so to validate this device is uh, as part of a defender onboarding or not so go to the windows advanced threat protection and you can see this entry is empty once your this device uh, uh, defender activated then here will be entry which will shows you how this device was onboarded to the defender for endpoint okay so this is our test machine let's move it to back on our the intune console and here i'm going to create a configuration profile to handle the device now let's go to the devices and under under the devices we have a configuration profile let me go here and now here we will be creating a profile so now we don't have here the profile let let me create a new profile or uh, create profile now so drop down and select the windows 10 and letter and then again drop down select the template and scroll down and select the microsoft defender for the and point and letter now create the profile and here just named it as you like the bulk device enrollment anything whatever name you want to give this profile go next and here is the setting so my defender console my uh, the security center already integrated with intune so i am not having the one uh, one more option if it is not integrated well and then you will be having a one more option to import the onboarding script here if you seen only the two options that means is your the security center already integrated with your intune if you have not integrated so guys please watch my video how to integrate your security center with the intune so here nothing to do uh, as of now so sample sharing for all files so just if you click on this iconic it will show you if you are sending a uh, sharing a all sample files then you, uh, to block that files you can select the block but i'm not going to block it and this option is expedite telemetry reporting frequently if you select this enable then your client frequently it will send the or report to the defender console so let it not to configure now go to the next and uh, here let's assign the group what we have created earlier that group i'm going to select it here so now we are good 
and uh, the applicable rule if you want then you can assign the rule if not you can just leave it as it is now it's not required now go to create so now our policy has created and it deployed to my the test machine and now we will be going to the test machine let's move to the test machine and update the policy so in the production uh if you are doing the bulk enrollment then no need to update the policy as soon your device will sync with the intune console it will get the policy and your the defender device will activate so but we are in the lab we need to update the policy very quickly so let's move it to the uh, account okay so here let's go to the our core school account let's go to the info and i'm going to sync this policy so this device will get a policy immediate from the intune console and our onboard processing will start so it will take uh, just couple of minutes uh, to update the policy and might be it will take uh, 30 to 40 minutes or one hour to activate the defender clients based on that policy reached or uh, the script run locally so the technically how it work uh, our intune console is integrated with your the security center and from the security center it will download the onboarding script in the back end and it will push it to on this device then that script will onboard device into the uh, your defender console so let's see how it's going to work now uh, let me show you first this thing uh do, 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 do. not the edit i'm sorry so here yeah just click here so you seen only the two option was visible when we was creating this policy but this third option was uh was not visible so this is option shows that this policy is going to use to onboard your device into a defender microsoft defender for end point so this is the one of the point how this script will download and reach to the uh reach to your the test machine or to the your the device let's see the settings in in your the defender oh, sorry in your the security center so go to the security center and go to the settings go to the endpoints and from here i can show you which script will download locally there so here one option should be checked that is a in tune let me see where it went microsoft intune connector so this is already it was set up and i create a video for that also so uh that's why my the intune is syncing up well with my the security center now let's move it to the onboarding part and here we have a script so when we create this configuration profile in in the back end this local script will download on the the device and it will run locally once that script execution done our device will onboard to the defender and once it's done the once is onboarded done then it will source under the devices group so let me click here still here the seven devices total i have the seven devices uh in my security center in my the defender so seven devices till now onboarded to a defender so let's wait until this script execute in this machine and once this execution done then this uh device will source here so let's wait for a couple of minutes so now the policy has replicated and the device has enrolled to the defender uh, security center so now here you can see this device has enrolled and let's see uh, on the device side let me go here go to the registry which we were checking earlier So now here it directly it open uh, where we can go on the local machine under software and uh, the policies 
and here will be a windows add once threat protection so once your device and onboard it to the defender mde then this value will be added so earlier when we checked uh, it was this entry was not available here so if you if, if you would like to be identify this device has end all to the defender or not you can go here and you can go to the console as well under the devices let me go to the devices again and then you can search out your device by clicking here so i can see the device name is here it's aad joined and uh, now it is available uh, it's active and it's uh, enrolled to the uh, md console so guys thanks for watching this video see you soon in my next video